Hello and welcome to Van Life Devotions. It's Christmas Eve and perhaps you're finalising your shopping and wrapping. Maybe you're travelling to see family. Perhaps you're getting your meal ready either for today or for tomorrow. Because Christmas Eve this year is on a Sunday, maybe church attendance is part of your tradition. Whatever your day brings, may you experience the hope and peace of Christmas. Traditions often form a big part of our Christmas celebrations. And here in Australia, being in the Southern Hemisphere, we have formed our own traditions, such as having seafood or gathering down at the beach or park or playing cricket in the backyard with the extended family. What is your Christmas tradition? In Australia, we have our own carols to reflect what Christmas is like down under. One such carol is The North Wind, written by John Wheeler. The lyrics are, The north wind is tossing the leaves, The red dust is over the town, The sparrows are under the eaves, And the grass in the paddock is brown. As we lift up our voices and sing To the Christ child, the heavenly King. That certainly is an Aussie Christmas carol, which is often sung at carol events across Australia. Speaking of which, tonight's Carols by Candlelight, which for many Australians has become a tradition much watch, was originated by an Aussie Christian man by the name of Norman Banks. Norman was a radio broadcaster since the 1930s for 50 years on radio stations 3KZ and 3AW, both in Melbourne. Among his many shows, including talkback and commentator of the Australian Rules Football, was his Christian devotional spots. On Christmas Eve 1937, while walking home from his nighttime radio, Norman Banks passed a house and through its window he saw an elderly lady sitting up inside listening to Away in a Manger, being played on the radio and singing along with her face being lit up by candlelight. Then a vision came to him to gather a large group of lonely people to all sing Christmas carols together by candlelight. Then on Christmas Eve, 1938, exactly 95 years ago today, the first ever Carols by Candlelight was held in Alexandria Gardens and was attended by around 10,000 people. In 1959, the event then moved to the newly constructed Sydney Meyer Music Bowl, where it remains to this day. Carols by Candlelight has become an annual Australian Christmas tradition that originated in Melbourne, but has now been spread throughout the country and around the world, thanks to the vision of a Christian man who wanted to bring lonely people together on Christmas Eve. For those first few decades, the Mar Melbourne Carols by Candlelight had a strong Christian influence, but since the 1960s, it's reflected more of popular culture. Now, some of us moan about this, but I'm grateful that a new generation of people still get to hear Christmas message through the Christian carols and the occasional references to Jesus by Christian performers, which is broadcast to millions of people. Norman Banks was a rather controversial figure who was accused of being either too opinionated or very conservative. But I give thanks to God for his vision of establishing the mass event carols by candlelight where Christ's name has been proclaimed for over 95 years, first in Melbourne and now around the world. I am reminded of the words of Jesus who said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Whatever traditions that you enjoy, may you look at the light on your Christmas tree or the candle on your table and be reminded that Jesus came into our dark world as the light of life. Let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, over this past month, Carol's events across the world have been proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ. Help our dark world to see that your Son is the light of life. Thank you, Jesus, for coming into our world, rescuing us from our darkness of sin and bringing us into your wondrous light. O oh God, preserve us through travel. Surround us with your loving care. Protect us from every danger and bring us in safety to our journey's end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.